Hi, this is Dave of JavaCodeJunkie.com. Welcome back to another tutorial on JavaFX. In this video, you will learn how to create your own custom JavaFX events. I will cover the following topics. Creating a new custom event, firing the new event, and handling or responding to the new event. So let's get started. Step one, we'll define a new class, which will hold our event object. Right click, new class, we'll call it person event, and it will extend the Java FX event object. Click finish. We'll add a constructor that accepts the event type as a parameter, and we'll also add a person object so that we can pass along some information about the person when the object's created. We'll add the generated serial version ID. Get rid of that warning. And we'll create the private person instance variable. We'll also create a method to allow us to get the person object. And then we'll define the specific event types for our new custom event. So we have a single event type called person underscore save. That's the end of step one. We've successfully created a new custom event class. Step two is to actually fire the new event, and we're going to do that within the person form. So in person form, we're going to attach a listener to the save button. implemented method. And now that we've handled the action event, within the action event handler, we're actually going to construct our new person object from the two text fields, and we're going to fire our new person event. Now from the save button, we will fire the event and we will create a new person event. The person event expects two parameters. The first is the event type, person event dot person save, and the second parameter is the person object that we just created from the two text fields. And that is the end of step two. We've successfully fired our new person event in response to the button click. Step three is to handle the new event that we just fired, the new person event. And we're going to do that in our case in main view. And I'm going to attach an event filter to the root of our scene graph, which is our border pane. And we're going to actually handle the event in a new method called handle person event.
So I'll just do a sys out to the console to show that the event was received and we were getting the values from the form as they were entered. And that's the end of step three. We've created an event filter to actually receive our new person event. And we've created a new method to actually handle the event. So let's run the program at this point and see if it works. We will enter some information. Now when we click the Save button, our Action Event Handler should handle that click. It should then construct an instance of our new Person event and pass the information in the two text fields into the event, which is then fired and should be received by our border pane, which is the root of our scene graph, and we should see a message showing the name in our system console. And there we are. So we now have these components who know nothing about one another, who are now able to communicate through the use of custom events. We were successful in creating a JavaFX custom event. This wraps up our video on custom events. You learned how to create a custom event, fire the new custom event from your code, and handle or respond to the event in your JavaFX application. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions or comments in the comment area below. And please subscribe for more content when I release new videos. As always, I appreciate you spending your time with me today, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, take care and keep on coding.